Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. just came in from outside you can tell my glasses are a little dark it is an absolutely beautiful day out there a little cold but the Sun is shining and I learned something from my doctor I just got back from my doctor's appointment and I asked my doctor I said why am I not getting depressed this year I'm he says well obviously you're doing something you enjoy and it's keeping you busy I said well yeah that but I've always done things I've enjoyed in the winter time. I painted, I played my guitar, I've done other things, you know, and I've always gotten depressed. <laughs> we started talking and I've always tried to grow my hair in the winter time because my head gets cold. So I've always tried to grow my hair, even if I just grew it a little bit, you know, I have that scalp condition. So when I grow my hair, my head just peels like, like I got leprosy. So it's hard for me to grow hair. I've tried multiple, 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 multiple treatments and prescriptions and prescription shampoos and drugs and all kinds of things. And I hate taking pills, so I don't like those. I've tried creams, oils, hot oil treatments, all kinds of things, nothing works. The only thing that keeps my head from peeling is keeping it shaved. Well, we started talking and he asked me if my head gets cold and I said, no, not really. I mean, if it does, when I'm riding a bike or something, I'll put on a do-rag, you know, to keep it from getting too cold. And he says, well, how many winters have you gone with how many winters have you grown your hair since you've been he says when you go down south you used to go down south all the time in the winter time did you grow your hair and I said no I kept it shaved because it's warm down south he goes did you get depressed I said no so we started talking and it's because I'm getting plenty of vitamin D I know that sounds weird but here's the thing we get lots of vitamin D in the summertime. Why? Because we wear short sleeve shirts. A lot of people wear shorts and flip flops, bathing suits, you name it. We're half undressed in the summertime. We've got plenty of surface area for vitamin D to absorb into our skin, our legs. A lot of men go shirtless. You know, we've got plenty of surface area for vitamin D to absorb. In the wintertime, we completely cover up long sleeve shirts, long pants, boots, you name it. So the only bare surface area we have to absorb vitamin D is usually our hands, if we're not wearing gloves, and our face. And so we were talking about that and, I, and, I, and, and it's been proven that vitamin D is a great supplement, I guess, for curing, not curing, but helping to resist depression. Because, first of all, it helps you sleep. The melatonin from the sun helps you sleep at night. Having the, your brain, right, it, it knows when it's dark it's time to go to sleep. But if you don't have enough melatonin, which helps with vitamin D, <laughs> I, I can't explain it all properly. He explained it and I wish I could have recorded it. Vitamin D helps you um, control the melatonin, I guess. And if you're not getting enough melatonin, you're not getting enough vitamin D. You can take vitamin D supplements, but if you're not getting sun, you're not getting that melatonin, you're not absorbing that vitamin D correctly. It's, I guess, I, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember, we talked for a while, and I'm trying to remember everything he said. The fact that I'm not depressed is simply because I've got my head shaved and I've spent a lot of time outside this winter, so I'm getting plenty of vitamin D. I'm absorbing plenty of vitamin D from the sun. That's why I never got depressed when I went down south. It wasn't because I moved and I was in a warmer climate. It was because I kept my head shaved and I was getting plenty of vitamin D from the sun. I'm an outside guy. So 
being an outside worker my entire life when I got stuck in Colorado for four years. And there was many times where I was stuck in cold states like Montana and Wyoming and Northern California and, and different places like that where I couldn't be outside in the wintertime and I would grow my hair just a little bit to keep my head from getting cold when I did go outside. I wasn't getting as much vitamin D. Now I'm getting plenty of vitamin D and I am not depressed. I'm not even, sli I don't even consider the possibility of being depressed this winter. <laughs> Which is awesome for me. I've suffered from depression my entire life, so if I can get through one winter without being depressed, booga, I am happy, I tell you. It's amazing. So anyway, uh, I love this new editing uh, program on my, uh, I updated my editing program. I had uh, Corel Video Studio 10, I upgraded to Corel Video Studio 22. That's how many updates they've had, and I've always said, nope, I'm not doing it. Nope, I like it the way it is. Nope, I'm not doing it. So they've had, since I bought this editing program years ago, they've had 12 updates to this program, and I've always refused to do it. And the only reason I did it this time was because they had a Black Friday update for $19.99. And I said, well, I can't pass that up. <laughs> so I updated. And... At first, it was frustrating. I was I I couldn't figure it out. It it was to me it was just more complicated, and it aggravated me because I was used to the way things were. It's kind of like when we get our dentures. We're used to having our bad teeth. We're used to the way things are. Then we get dentures, and we get frustrated because things become more complicated, and we get aggravated because we were used to the way things were. And we don't sometimes look at it like it's a benefit. It benefits us to get dentures, just like it benefited me to get the upgrade on my video editing program. I love this thing. And yes, although all I'm making is an intro for my channel, still, it's teaching me things that I can do with this program that I can, you know, I can improve my videos for YouTube. I can improve the lighting. Look at the lighting on this video. It's still fairly dark outside and cloudy, but yet I figured out how to adjust the lighting on a video with the editing program. There's so many things I can do now to make my videos even better. The lighting on the camera, is it is what it is. If, it's, if I don't have natural light coming through the window, which today I don't, then the video quality is not going to be as good. But now I can adjust the video quality and the lighting on the video on the editing program. I can brighten things up, make things more clear. I, basically I can add artificial light to the video to make it look like there's natural light, which is awesome. So even just that little bitty, you know, that little bit of thing right there makes my video quality better. The sound quality is better, I know, because I can adjust the sound quality. I can take out the humming in the background from the microphone and things like that. It's a, learn, it's a learning process, just like with my dentures. It's a learning process. It's going to take me time to learn how to do everything with this editing program, but it is so amazing. We have to accept technology and balance out our lives to accept technology. We can't live in the dark ages, not if we're going to be in the public eye. We have to accept technology and learn to use it. And I have a tendency to put things off. I didn't want to upgrade for years. I didn't want to upgrade. I upgraded now and I and I couldn't be happier. Now don't get me wrong, for the past three weeks I've been frustrated out of my brain, racking my brain every day trying to figure out how to do anything other than just put the video in there, render it, and upload it to YouTube. I've been experimenting with all kinds of different 
programs that they have in the editing program. All kinds of different features and transitions and different things like that. And, and I love it. I think it's amazing to be able to do the things that I can do now. And yeah, so far, all I've done, like with this video, I brightened it up a little bit. I corrected some audio that was bad. And I added my intro to the video. And, it, and, and I got to tell you, if you don't like the intro, I'm sorry. But it took me hours and hours and hours and days to make this intro what I wanted it to be. So it's staying. <laughs> and the other thing is that um, going by the studies, you know, 99% of videos have an intro. It lets you recognize the channel. It lets you recognize the person you're watching. Yes, my main saying at the beginning of every video is it's your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. That's great, but I also need an intro. So, and, and I will never quit saying keep smiling, keep trying, and never get up at the end of a video. So, never give up. Did I say get up or give up? <laughs> I'm in such a good mood today because I rode my bike, went to the doctor, and when I got out of the doctor, it was nice and warm. You know, it's, a, it's 30 degrees. It's a heat wave. <laughs> so I actually took a ride and got out of town a little bit. And I rode around for about an hour or so. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to get back and do a video while I'm in a really, really good mood. My bike is running smooth as glass. The roads are dry. It doesn't look like it's going to snow in the next week or so. And I ran to the store, grabbed a few things on my way back. I stopped at the store, grabbed a couple of things that I need. And here I am making a video. Now I, I know that looking at the video in the lens over here, it's a little dark. But not for you because when I edit this video, I'm going to brighten it up. Make it better quality. So I hope that you like what I'm doing. I hope that you're pleased with the quality of my videos and the intro and all the other things I'm doing. I'm working very hard here. I hope you all have an amazing day. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up. Remember at the end of this video, there will be a link to subscribe on the left side of the screen, top left. There will be a link to subscribe or to go to my other channel, Dentures vs. Food, on the top right corner of the video. If you're on a computer, just click on it. Click on a little circle. If you're on a phone or a pad, just touch it with your finger. If you're on a television, use your remote control. Use the up button. As soon as you see the links, use the up button on your remote control. That'll take you up on the screen and you can navigate to whatever you want on the screen from there. You can, it'll highlight whatever you're on. So you can highlight that channel, click OK, and it'll take you to that channel. As always, keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up.